Turakomeje inyigisho zacu zivuga ngo abashaka uwiteka bishime. We are continuing our team uh, that says those who seek the Lord rejoice. Nijo jambo byo muri uku kwesi kwa 11. That is the theme of this month of November. Dero uyu mugoroba turi buganira ijambo rivuga ngo amavuta yo kunezerwa. So tonight's uh, subject is going to be the anointing of joy. Eh ndabizi ko turi mwisi ituma tutanezerwa. I know that we are in a world that does not allow us to be joyful. We go through many things that keep us from uh, being joyful. Also, you can be joyful in one hour and meet a challenge that stops your joy. This world that we live in, it he has problems and he brings us problems. So it's hard for someone to always be joyful 24 hours. But the word that we are going to discuss with you is called having the anointing of joy that causes you to be joyful no matter what. The anointing that causes you joy in good times, in bad times, in easy times, and in tough times. Let's read in the book of Isaiah. Let's read in the book of Isaiah. Chapter 61, verse 3 to 4. Isaiah 61, 3 to 4. Yanumye no gushira ho itegeko abisiyoni barira byo kubaha ikamba mu kimbo kivu byo kubaha amavuta yo kunezerwa mu kimbo cy'ubwirabure byo kubaha umwambaro w'ibyishimo mu kimbo cy'umutima wihebye kugira ngo bahere ko bitwe ibiti byo gukiranuka byatewe n'uwiteka ngo bimuheshe icyubahiro nuko bazubaka hasenyutse bazubura amatongo yabanje kubaho kandi bazasana imidugudu yasenyutse yamaze ibihe byinshi ari imwirare to console those who mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they may be called trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified and they shall rebuild the old ruins they shall raise up the former desolations and they shall repair the ruined cities the desolations of many generations. Amen. 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 Let's also read in Hebrews. Chapter 1, verse 9. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 9. Kuko wakunze gukiranuka ukanga ubugome nicyo cyatumye imana ari yo mana yawe igusiga amavuta yo kwishima ikakurutisha bagenzi bawe You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness therefore God your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions amen 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 Kuko wakunze gukiranuka ukanga ubugome You have Nicho chatumye imana ari yo mana yawe igusiga amavuta yo kwishima ikakurutisha bagenzi bawe You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness therefore God your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions amen Muri uyu mugoro bimana irashaka kukunezeza in this evening, God wants to make you joyful. I don't know if you are following me uh, in the evening or in the morning, but in this evening or morning, God wants to make you happy. In this month of uh, November, it's, we have a team saying, those who seek the Lord should rejoice. So we who have come to seek the Lord, who we have come to uh, uh, look for God, God has 
kept the oil of gladness for us. There is an anointing for joy. There is an anointing that elevates you and makes you joyful. Are you ready to receive this anointing? With all the stresses you have in your mind, with all the thoughts you have, you need the anointing of joy. Because the anointing of joy will take you from somewhere and take you to another place. The people who have overcome this world, they are those who were able to be joyful at all times. So God wants you to overcome those challenges, those trials, through the anointing of joy. The mission that Jesus had was for him to anoint you with an anointing. In Isaiah 61, 3, 4, He sent me to consult those who mourn in Zion. Or he established me so that I can comfort those who are in Zion. You are on the mountain of Zion. God and Jesus have something great for you tonight. There is a command, a decree that you have to be joyful. There is no reason for you to be sad. There is no reason that Make, make you cry. Because someone who has believed and trusted has, has been sent to tell you who you are who are mourning and who are crying. To tell you, be calm. Be calm. God is calming you. He's comforting you. God is telling you be strong. He's comforting you. He sent me to console those who are in Zion. Those who are crying. I don't know why you are crying. I don't know why, what makes you sad. I may be sick. Maybe it's sickness or loneliness or poverty. Or a single or a All those things can make your heart be full of But you have sent me to decree this you to you. To give you a beauty. beauty instead of ashes. To give you beauty for ashes. What does that mean? A long time ago, when people lost their loved ones, they would go and put uh, uh, they would put uh, ashes on themselves. They would put ashes on themselves. They did not make tattoos, but they would draw things that show that they were mourning. Bagafatifu. And they would take ashes that showed that someone was mourning. And when you see that that person is not smiling, you know that they have lost a loved one because they, will have, they will have ashes. But someone who was glad what defined someone who was in, in gladness was to wear beauty. They wear garments or ornaments. They wear something like a crown that shows their gladness. So here the Bible is saying those who are mourning the mourning Okay, no, no. Those who are mourning, here God is not pretending, He doesn't want you to fake it. He wants you to change from being mournful to being joyful. One day David had uh, David's child was sick. 
yanga kurya David didn't want to eat David yambara nabi David pull on uh, ashes. He put on ashes. He wore uh, bad clothes. And he uh, slept on the floor. And his servants came to ask him, you are a king. Don't wear those clothes. Please, uh, master. Wake up. He said, no, I am sad. My child is sick. I am begging God to heal him. Okay. The next day, that child uh, died. When the child died, the servants told each other, if we tell him that he's dead, he's also going to die. He has refused to eat. He has refused to clothe himself. He has refused to sleep. He has put him on himself ashes. He has put on bad clothes. And he is sleeping on the floor. So what's going to happen if we tell him that the child is dead? And they talk between them among themselves. When David looked at them, he saw what they were talking about. And he confirmed it in his heart. And he told them, why are you hiding this from me? Is the child dead? And they tried to hide it from him. They tried to play games. And he told them, yes, he has, he's dead. Tell me the truth. Is he dead? And he said, they say, yes, master, he's dead. David stood up. And he went to the uh, to the bathroom. Arog. And he, he took amaz. a shower. He took on a good oil. Ar- ar- and he put it on himself. And he cleaned himself. And he put on a, a royal on a garment. Arambay. And he clothed himself. And he took on his crown. Ar- and he put on his head. And he went and sat on his crown. Um, on his uh, throne. And the child was dead. And the servants came. They said, Master, what is this? When the child was sick, you, uh, you were in mourning. You, took, you, you didn't take care of yourself. You were mourning. Now the child is dead. Now you look happy. You are putting on your crown. You are, uh, you are happy. You look happy. You put on your royal garment. You are sitting on your throne. You are going before God to praise him. You are confusing us. He called them. And he told them, come, I'm going to tell you. When my child was sick, I was praying that he, God may heal him. But God did not deem it well. So he took him. So why should I keep grieving? Because the child is gonna, not going to return to me. I'm going to go to the child. I need to remove this grief. Because the child is gone. I can do nothing about it. I must be happy. My situation today, whatever it is, I cannot do anything about it. But what I can do is I can create joy for myself. I cannot change my circumstances, but I can change my uh, the way I see my attitude. My attitude towards it. I cannot change the circumstances. But I can change my attitude. My attitude gives me my attitude. My attitude helps me to go higher in the altitude. Your attitude will determine your attitude or your attitude. The way you decide to uh, approach this problem is what's going to happen. Hallelujah. If you Take this problem and you allow it to be heavy on you, it's going to defeat you. But if you create your joy despite that problem, you are going to overcome um, it. Uh, the writer Micah said, he said, you enemy, 
ngo we kwinyishima hejuru numbagarare hejuru do not step upon me ngwiyo nguye mbamzutsi when i fall i arise iyo ndyamye hasi mbamzutsi when I'm, i fall i rise kugwa kwanje niko kumzuka kwanje falling is rising for me uyu mugabo ndiyemeye guheranwa nikibazo this man did not allow the problem to overcome him ndiyemeye ndiyemeye guheranwa nimibereho he did not allow the circumstances to overcome him ibibazo ko bije Whatever problem comes is the same way they go. They just take time. They take long when you accept them. They go when you refuse them. A, a bird cannot uh, you will not prevent a bird from defecating on your head but you can prevent him from staying on your head. The, uh, the bird can defecate on your head. Izagenda genda icha hejuru ya. It can go above you. Ariko ruzayemera ko icara ku mutwe. But you cannot uh, you cannot allow it to sit on you. Ibibazo bizaza. Problems can come. Ariko ruzayemera ku bicumbiki. But do not give uh, do not be a host. Do not give them a room in your heart. Ruzayemera ku ibyo bibazo byicara muri wowe. Do not allow those problems to sit in your heart. Ke bize bitambuke ni nk'inyo nitambuke ni nk'umuya gugenda. Have them come and go. Do not allow them to stay. It's like a bird. It comes and goes. Attitude, yeah, so you must have the attitude of David. Instead of ashes, put on your beauty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ambaraneza. Put on your garments. So keneza. Go uh, walk confidently. Do not show people that you are grieving. That you are sad. Going around saying, I'm sad. I'm dead. Do not try to get peace. Seek joy from within. Seek happiness from within. In this journey, we go in valleys and we go up the mountains. And we go back into amuka. valleys and we go up in Rumanuka. the mountains. When you go in your Puzo valleys, do not think you're going to stay there. Harumuso there is another mountain Ruzo before amuka. you. When you arise, do not think that you're going to stay Ruzo there amuka. in life. You're going to come back into Ruzo a valley. Mbeze. That's the way it is. Today you're going to go to good things. Tomorrow you're going to bad Ruzo things. Ruzo another day you're going to Ruzo bad Ruzo things into good things. Ruzo 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 do not think you're going to stop where you are going through but think Hope about for your, your destination. Do not think about your destination. We never hurry. No, we're muri voyage. Do not consider your your current circumstance. You are in a journey. Are you hearing this? Muri GPS yawe imuka. In your spiritual GPS. Biragaragaza kuri mu kabande. It's clear that you are in a valley. Ariko destination final. But your final destination It's so do not grieve because of the valley you are in. Do not grieve because of the wilderness you are in. The GPS is showing that you are going to Canaan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do not cry in that, in that wilderness. It is, it's just a cross or a path. Well, problems that are around you, it is just a wilderness you are going through. Through. But uh, far away, there is canon. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Say the anointing of joy. Say the anointing of joy. May God give you that anointing. May God descend that anointing upon you. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. I've come to give you beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. Amen. Hallelujah. How long is your mourning? How long have you been in your mourning season? Your car has broken but you are not dead. Do you, do you want to be broken like your car? No. No. How long will you stay in your morning season? You were fired from your job. Will you continue to cry because of that job? The job is gone, but you are still here. Will you, how long will you stay in that morning for that job? Did you know 
that it is not the job that you had that made you be there. But you actually were the job was there because of you. Hallelujah. So the job should not define your state your status. You are always crying, uh, define me, define me. The, the job is gone, but you are still in God. That fiance uh refused you all but you continue to be yourself they did not take away any beauty from you just let them go you are still the same why are you going to be to die in that season you are still crying because of a young man who married 10 years ago your eyes are still the same. Your head is still the same. Your members are still the same. Are you still crying because of a girl or a boy that Vamuri left? Chokirio. Leave that morning season. Leave that morning season. It is possible that it's someone that God took from you. Umana. A child, your daughter, Umuhungu your son, your wife, Umugabo your husband. Yaragi. He's, he or she is gone. You cannot bring them back. But you are still here. Get out of the morning. God has a plan for you. The, the reason why God left you and didn't take you is because he still has a plan for you. Yes, Hallelujah. The oil of joy for mourning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are some there are some people who always complain or have been wounded many times. How long will you keep your wounds upon your wounds and upon your wounds? Heal your first wound first and then we're going to take care of your second wound. Let them go. Let do not keep caressing your wound or uh, taking care of your wound. Actually, accept that it happened and move on. That is the solution to that wound. You must accept it and then move on. There are always saying, oh, they offended me, they offended, they told me that I'm fat, they told me that I'm skinny, they told me that I'm short, that I'm tall. What are you getting offended? The way they see things is different from the way you see things. If you are fat, you are fat. If you are tall, you are tall. Just live the way you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Warariyeni nurabziboha, wagi zamu nurabziboha. Iki mazo cha wakiliye. We we kifu na we shaka chibi no. Tuwe ukwaba nuba shaka. Uko dabom. Uku imani shaka na ukubzumba. Uwe uku imani bisha kukubzumba. Na onu reva ban. Wagi ribza ko. Ni imani yara rushe. We yara zangu mana pumgan. Unde timana ni mumgan. Imani yara go. Mana zani mfura. Unde tizani zoo. Ihi tamu ibzi shati. Kuki kizungu kuri kizabano. Tana kimo ya ko. Umu na raza ngomana ngu izinda ziba enyishi maza kubuza linda heka ni chumi. Uni ngomana wa maya kani. Yarumi. Dero uki ichi kora ikora ibzi shaka. Wewe gendra mu shake bugi imana kubuza mabugawe. Nawe ugenu kwa uva muli wawu. Tugenu kwa banu wabitekele. Nibu kene ya mafuta yu mune zero. Kura maso kubanu. Urebi imana yawe. Nawe wile mere umune zero muli wawu. So you must make sure that you are the way God wants you to be. Do not Try to be the way people want you to be. Some people want many children. Some people want few children. Some people are asking for children. So God is always uh, kind of confused. We want you to be who you are and to make sure that you are the way God wants you to be. Amen. Murabizi, ukize ngo uiga na vanu di wafa muunzo. Haruku kugira ngwambari umwende. Undi watoya, undi wetini uru kwete. Ushora kui ugwa wiche muunzo. Uwaza nyawa nichumi ngo bakwe meje kusohoka. Uka irarabu. Uri muna basha kangu kora kanunda kanu nua na ugachanga nyikiu imavu muso kama mazo nuko hitamu utavaji jumuno siku mienda ugi zangu tuvaze tu kwesenti wava muzu ariko ibzo wa hisemu ibzo bitu mienda muhand hero gui tamu kutaba bara ni 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 wewe wazi kore na wundi wabi kufasha so the way you actually leave your house is because you choose the way you want to look outside if you allow everybody to tell you what to do what to wear. You never leave. So you must choose for yourself. You must choose not to be offended and everybody else is going to just respect that. Did you know that being offended is your will? Isn't that true? The ones I wrote about me a lot in uh, newspapers every day and I will read it. But I decided to read those news as if I was reading other news, other Karin people's news. And that's what happened. Gavisoma. And I will read it. And I will just, I will just take it as they are talking about someone else. Buke and another, uh, the next, the following days, uh, uh, ba, the journalist came. The journalist came to, how, to give me an interview. And they told me, we want to do an exclusive interview with you. Let me ask you. If you read the things they talk about you, do you, do you sleep at night? And among those who wrote about me, you are among them. Instead, don't say what they write about you. Say what well, we write I'm about you. you. And then I'm going to answer you. Okay. And he told us, okay, when we write things, about you, you write about us. And I'm going to answer you. And I'm going to answer you. And he told us, okay, when we write things about you, do you sleep at night? And I told him, I, I am not offended. What? No. He asked me why. And I told him, I know. In a good way and in a in a positive way, in a negative way, I am a blessing to you. Gitwaza will never be a curse to anybody. I will be a blessing to those who hate me and those who love me. First of all, I know that what you are writing is false. If I if, if I thought it was true, I would be offended. I know first, I know that it's a lie. Number two, I know that you who's writing it, who are writing it, you know it's a lie because you are the one who's inventing it. But the positive about it is because that news or that story causes your, your, your newspaper to be sold. And you can pay your monthly rent. And you can pay your children's tuition. And once I know that you have paid your rent and you have paid tuition for your children, 
insulting me doesn't do anything to me. And that's what happens. When people want their newspaper to be... Mwese mwareba cyangwa kuri kuri YouTube mwabona ngo gitwaza ibi mwakurikira mu kabura mu content siko bigenda eh bijya bashaka ngo umusubscribe muri benshi iyi ageze gukina kabona ifaranga kuri ngewe mubera umugisha muryo negative ngewe rero nafashe yo perspective sinzabazwa no munyamukuru ngo yanyanditse nzareba impamvu yabimuteye suko ari ukuri nawaze ko atari ukuri ariko arashaka kuba rero ndu umugisha babyanga babikunda ku buzima bwa Nje nifache ngu mojisha kuruta kubiki subizu. Ibzo rero, umuka ukumba wazana kunsenya na hawa kuinjiri. Kuba offended na hawa zaachi kuko ndu mojisha. When journalists want to uh, sell their newspaper, they just put my picture with a different uh, titles. And front page. Uh, they just put it on the front page. And that generates viewers and subscribers. And that allows them to be able to leave and to pay their uh, tuition and their their rent. So I have decided to be that blessing in a negative way or in a positive way. It doesn't allow me or it doesn't offend me when they talk bad things about me. But I learned those things as I matured. As I grew. Before I grew in wisdom and in life, they would, they would write things about me and I would curse them. I cursed one of them. When they came to see me, I said, you wrote about me. I give you three months. You and your newspaper are going to be done. And he went to write it. And he said, Gitwaza uh, gave me three months. And that's what happened. To this day, that, that man and that... Uh, Newspaper is gone. 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 But when I look back, I say, I'm going to cause problems. Because it doesn't offend me. I just continue to be me. I am a blessing. If he can uh, uh, benefit from me, one day they will say, Oh, my child went to school because of Gitwaza. If anybody so those are barriers that allowed me to uh, block the spirit of offense in my life. You can do it too. And so, do not be offended left and right. When people look at you, talk about you, they are just passing by. You've been living for 20 years and they are just looking at you right now. Where were they when you in your first 19 years? So you must remove that uh, offense in your life and put on the cloth of beauty. The issue with a wounded heart, it keeps being wounded. It stays wounded. Also, and the wounded wounds other people. And they wound them unknowingly because it's a disease. They tell you and they offend you and they don't even realize that they offended you because they are also offended. They are wounded. And they also talk about other people offending other people, but they don't talk about themselves because they don't see that they are offending people. They are sick. Isn't that the case? So, enlarge your heart and protect it. Do not allow anything in it. Because 
I have brought the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. The spirit that is heavy. Instead, I brought you a garment of praise, of happiness, of joy. A garment of deliverance. When problems began, begin to be many in your mind or they become to overwhelm you, start praising God, you will not realize what happened to those problems. God is going to help you. Instead of the spirit of heaviness, Yo, I will give you the government of praise. May God give you a government of praise. And that they may be called trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. And they shall rebuild the old ruins. You cannot rebuild the old ruins when you are ruined as well. You must build things. There are things you want to build. But you are going to build them once you have been built within. May God build you right May now. God that May God remove that sadness. May God remove that grief. May God remove those problems. May God remove from you all those things that are hindering you in the name of Jesus. May God bring joy in you in the name yes, of Jesus. Praise God. They will uh, build the old runes. They shall raise up the former desolations. And they shall repair the rude cities. There have been there many years as desolations. Let me tell you this. You have a mission to build. But you cannot do it without being joyful. Joy is the key. And joy is, except that God also anoints you, it is also your choice. The Bible says, the Bible says it's going to give you an anointing of gladness more than your companions. You are going to be glad. You are going to be happy. To have uh, gladness. You are going to receive that oil. The oil of gladness. God is going to anoint you with it. God is going to anoint you with it. You are going to be more glad than your companions. Why does God want to anoint you with this anointing? When you receive this anointing, when you receive this anointing, you are going to heal from many diseases and you are going to heal other people from diseases. Proverbs 17.22 Proverbs 17.22 says A joyful heart is a good medicine but a broken spirit dries up the bones. Proverbs 17.22 a merry heart does good. Like yes. A joyful heart is good medicine. A joyful heart is what? Proverbs 17, It's a me good medicine. There are many diseases that people have because they, have don't, they don't have gladness. medicine psychosomatic psychosomatic disease. Nibi take it is. Kuwe akuru munezere wimbere. 
those diseases are called psychosomatic diseases because they are caused by uh, people who dwell on problems. Catansio, like a hypertension or hypotension. High blood pressure. High blood pressure. Uh, like insomnia. Estoma. Uh, stomach. Palpitation. Uh, heartbeat issues. E diabete. Diabetes. Or even uh, allergies on your skin. Sometimes you have uh, allergies or uh, pimples. Yeah, pimples. Yeah. Or uh, rashes, skin rash. Because of anger. Uh, stress. All those things, they are caused by the lack of joy from within. But a joyful heart is good medicine. It's a medicine for all those diseases. Do you want to be happy? Do you want to be glad? You are going to receive a medicine that is better than those that give you in the hospital. Normally, the, some disease that we take to the hospital, there are, there are diseases that doctors should not treat. You should treat them. And sometimes you say they have uh, ran exams and they can't find what's wrong. When they can't find what's wrong, maybe you need to find joy in your heart. There are many uh, stress uh, uh, conditions that cause cancer. There are many stress conditions that cause you to lose appetite. And they cause uh, the lack of love in a household. All those things, they are caused by the inner grief in your heart. Yes, you have been through those things, yes. And you cannot return into those. <laughs> I was born an orphan. You're not going to stay an orphan for your whole life. Build your own household. Have a wife or have a husband. When my dad was 70 years old, when he was 70 years old, uh, we, uh, our, his children, we gathered around when we uh, troubled him, he said, uh, you need to understand because I'm an orphan. I don't have my dad. <laughs> he was old. And he said it seriously. <laughs> you know, he was seriously sad. He said, I'm an orphan. I don't have a father. <laughs> And at 70 years old and up, he was still talking about his father uh, that passed away. The first thing you need to do to keep a joyful heart is to protect it. In Proverbs 4.23, he says, God your heart above all things because from your heart comes the issues of life. Are we together? Keep your heart above all things because from it comes the springs of life, flow the, the springs of life. Do you hear me? Do not expose your heart. Give everything to people. But do not give that person your heart. You can give them ideas. You can give them money. You can give them wisdom. But do not give them your heart. Because your heart belongs to God only. And God cannot wound it. The problem we have, you say, oh, 
uwe wale uguma nyikumana, uka muhubu genge, uka muhubu giza bukawe, uka muifaranga zao, ale kwa gati makawe, na kimana. Niyo, na makosa niwe wayate. So we always say, oh, I have trusted this person with all my heart. It's not that person's fault, it is your fault. You gave them your heart instead of giving them your beauty, your money, your wisdom. You should keep that. You should keep your heart instead of giving everything. You, the heart, your heart is not no yours. Man. It belongs to God. So, now you are going to trust your heart into someone's hand. They are going to crush it. Someone may keep your money may keep your car in a garage may keep the title of your house they may keep your diploma well but we have been we have never been taught to keep people's hearts because only God has that secret only God is knows the heart of, can of a person. You protect. And it is him who can protect it. 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 So the wounds that we had, we took hearts and we went to, uh, we, we take them to other people's houses. He said, keep, you know, keep my heart. Keep my heart. If they abuse their heart, it is not their fault. They know how to keep money, they know how to keep a car, they know how to keep a house. Keeping a heart is not only a secret from God. What God is asking you, keep your heart. Build a hedge around it. Keep, build a fortress around it. Above all things that are protected. Because out of it spring the issues of life. Do you know what comes out of it? In your heart. What comes out of your heart? Health, welfare, spiritual joy, peace of conscience, flowing from the blood of Christ. From your heart comes the joy of the spirit. That's where you, the peace of your heart comes from. That's where your conscience has peace. In your heart is where the blood of Christ flows. In your heart is where the joy of Christ comes from. In your heart is where your righteousness is from. From your heart comes the hope of glory. From your heart is kept, in your heart is kept the secrets of God. How can you abuse it and give it to other people? What are they going to do? They are going to steal your peace. They are going to steal your joy. They are going to steal your happiness. They are going to steal your salvation. They are going to steal your steal your uh, support in God, your assurance in God, so, guard your heart, because that's where God puts his anointing. That's where God puts his anointing. But a heart with no joy, the broken, the broken heart dries up bones. The broken heart, it dries up bones. It causes you to shrink. To shrink. May God help you. Stop shrinking. I have good news for you. I'm going to pray for you tonight so that the joy of Godness may be yours and that anointing may never leave you. We are going to pray. I'm going to ask you to come forward. If you want to receive this anointing that it may come down on you. Philippians 4.4 Do you know how it says? Philippians 4.4 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Come forward. Again, I will say rejoice. 
nimwishimire mu mwami iteka iminsi yose nongeye kubivuga ngo ni munezerwe nimwishimire mu mana iteka ryose rejoice in the lord always again i say nongeye kubivuga again i will say ngo ni mwishimire rejoice witeguye kwishima are you ready to rejoice tugiye kugusabira amavuta y'umunezero we are going to ask for the anointing of gladness amavuta y'ibyishi the anointing of gladness amanuke kubuzima bwa to come to your life amavuta y'umunezero the anointing of gladness yuzure kubuzima bwa to be to fill your life urabyiteguye are you ready for this urabyiteguye are you ready reka dusenge imana let's pray Guha yu muti mawanje Naminu utegeke Uzu zukundo Mimbara gazomu Guha ye guha yu muti Oh, mami, do you take it? Nimbara, Tarindi, Tarindi, Turofite, Yoku. Turama Guhaye Guhayu Mutima Wanye Tarindi Tarindi Turofite Gyokugu Turama Guhayu Mutima Wanye Guhaye Guhayu Mutima Wanye Naminu Utegeke Yo Uzu Zuru Kudu Nimbara Kazomiju Guhaye Guhayu Mutima Wanye Maminu Utege Uzuze Uzu Zuru Kudu Nimbara Gazomiju Guhaye Mawanye Naminu Utege Yuzu Zuruku Alleluia Mimbara Zomiju Guhaye Guhayu Mutima Wanye Lord God Almighty, I anoint the anointing of gladness for your people. Instead of mourning, give them the oil of gladness. Give them a garment of praise. The power of Satan that brings them grief, that brings them sadness, we destroy it. The wounds that come up, we destroy them. The problems they are faced, we destroy them. In the name of Jesus. 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 Do your miracles. Bring joy to these people. Build their hearts. Build them that nothing can come in that is not of you, that is not of your word, that is not of the spirit, 
that is not of the spirit anything from the flesh anything from the nature we remove in the name of Jesus 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 I pray for them miracles from you your power to be manifested Lord in this moment in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the power from heaven the power from heaven may come in them use them above all they can imagine in the name of Jesus Satan who bring confusion who cause them to be frustrated in the spirit and the flesh, the, di the disease of emotions, in the name of Jesus, heal it. That came from diseases that keep their joy. Cancer, go. Diabetes, diabetes. go. Stomach issues, go. Go. Tension, go. In the name of Jesus, the heartbeat go in the name of Jesus every disease that is in these people heal them every handicap that comes from the lack of joy go the oil of gladness come down on you come down on you come down on you flow in you in the name of Jesus the oil from heaven Come down on you. The joy. The power comes. Let the miracles come. Receive it in your life. Receive it in your children. Receive it in your family. Receive it in your people. Receive it in your siblings. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, that you are doing this miracle. You have manifested yourself. We thank you, Lord. Nipsiki Chiro Chinshi Ibzunde Kereza Erega Dibi Barika Nipsiki Chiro Chinshi Ibzunde Kereza ho Erega Hivi barika Guhaye Guhaye Mutima wanye Ngamino Ute Uzuze Uzuzu Yes, hello. Baragazawa. Hallelujah. Wamenu. Uzuze. 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 Hallelujah. Nimbara. Repeat and say, thank you, Jesus, for the oil of gladness you have given me. Starting now, I choose to be glad, to always be glad. I choose to never be wounded by small things. My wounds, I will turn them into joy. I will make them profitable. Of joy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, May God bless you. Yes, May God be good to you. Receive the oil of gladness. Go in joy. Go home yes, with joy. May God bless you. Yes, may God strengthen you. And may he support you. Let us greet each other 